Hello everybody and welcome to a long-awaited Let's Play. This is a Let's Play of The Binding of Isaac, Edmund McMillan's new game. And he's obviously famous for games like Super Meat Boy and Gish. So this is one that a lot of people have been looking forward to since it was announced back in the summer. I figure it would only be right for me to do a Let's Play considering I also did one for Super Meat Boy. Not going to talk too much about the story right now, but essentially Isaac is a young child, a young boy, whose mother has been corrupted by religious fanaticism and has gone crazy and kind of thrown him in the catacombs under his house. And let's get started. So you can see we have four characters to choose from. I'm going to go with Isaac, simply because the other three are all locked for me. And you can see I've got three health, two speed, and two attack. Select, and then we will begin the game. So this is essentially a roguelike, similar to a game, I guess a combination of like a top-down Zelda and a Smash TV. You can see the controls here, we use the arrow keys to shoot, uh, we use E to use a bomb, which we only have one of right now, and space for an item. So by entering this room, I have started my Let's Play, and this is actually the first time I have played Isaac, actually. This is going to be as blind as blind gets. So, hmm, there's some treasure in this room, but I don't have a key, so I can't open it, so let's go out here. Um, so yeah, this will be new, uh, live and in color, essentially. Uh, your experiences will be directly correlated to my first playthrough of the game. So let's see, it looks like I'm using my spit to attack enemies here. And I'm attacking dust bunnies, but they may also be... I don't know, past fetuses that my mother has thrown down here. Who knows? She seems like kind of a crazy bitch. The game has a, a soundtrack. Ah, so I'm, I should mention, when you collect pennies, uh, those actually serve as the unlockables to get those new characters. Um, the game has it's got a lot of Super Meat Boy connections with it. Uh, the artist for the game obviously was Edmund McMillan. The designer of the game is Edmund McMillan, I should say. Oh, get out of there! Uh, and the composer for all of this stuff in the game was Danny B, who also did the soundtrack for Super Meat Boy. So now that I have this key, let's go back to this room and open this treasure chest and see if maybe I can get a good item here. Oh, but now I don't have any bombs! God! Damn it! Alright, so I gotta go and find a bomb somewhere. Let's move to the right this time. Alright, so it looks like, from what I hear, this is essentially, you know, a good, a good analog for this game might be a game like Dungeons of Dreadmore, a game where you can actually play it over and over many times. This is not like a linear game. Uh, of course, there's a key in there. I didn't even have to use a bomb to get. Uh, you can play over and over many times, and in fact, you have to play over and over many times because it's kind of shockingly difficult. Uh, I don't... Oh, there we go. Another health HP up for me. Uh, I don't know if it's procedurally generated, but I think it's randomly generated, perhaps. Uh-oh. I think I accidentally walked into a boss fight. Ah, and this is actually a boss that is from Super Meepo, if I remember correctly. Not sure if he had the same name, but definitely there was a, a worm-type boss in the game. Let's see. Uh, you can see his life meter there. I think it might have been a bad idea to attack this guy with almost no firepower, but I seem to be doing okay so far. Although I'm getting kind of pac man into this corner here. Get out of here! The shit is getting in my way. I can't move. Okay, I got two, two and a half left, and I've done about half damage to this guy. You know what? I think I'm going to be okay. I think I'm going to win. Oh, uh, but the poop is growing! That's uh, what I used to say when I had to go to the bathroom as a kid. Okay, here comes Larry Jr. I'm just going to imagine it's Larry the Cable Guy Jr. to give me all of the, all of the anger that I need to defeat him. Come on! Get over here. There we go. Do some damage. Typical, you know, old school Zelda style boss fight. You've got to hit him in his weak spot to do massive damage. Ah, uh, there's looks like there's a dime on the ground over there. Or an R nickel. Alright. I'll take it. Where is Ah, uh, you know, you probably don't collect pennies, you probably collect money. Alright, that makes more sense. Why it's always good to do some research before you record a video that's gonna be viewed on the internet. It looks like Larry's almost dead here. A little bit more. Uh, 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 uh. What do you think you're doing? Pick up a little bit of extra health. Uh, a turd in a bowl? Lunch. Oh, okay. More HP up. And now I can go down. So let's go down to the next floor. Ah, uh, yeah. I know, man. I want a treasure chest, too. Oh, no. That was where you were locked as a kid. Sorry to bring back those traumatic memories. Alright, so it looked like there were about five or six levels before you get to uh, Mom, who is obviously the final boss of the game. It's pretty neat so far. I'm having a good time. Uh, the early buzz on this game was remarkably po ah, remarkably positive, uh, and I am not disagreeing with that so far. 
Just kind of live blogging my thoughts here. I'm having a really good time. Whoa. Part of that is I love twin stick shooters. Games like Smash TV I basically grew up on. Uh, and more recently even games like I made a game with zombies and it was really fantastic. So this kind of thing is right up my alley and I'm liking it a lot so far. I didn't show the opening cinematic, which I'll do in a future version of the Let's Play, but a uh, future video of the Let's Play. But it has that same trademark Mr. Meat Boy sense of style, or sense of humor. Oh god, what am I fighting? I'm fighting against how many babies did you have, Mom? Your religion should be I don't know contraception. I really need to get some bombs, as if on cue one appears, so that I can get some items. Was there a treasure chest up here that I could get to? No, okay. Let's keep moving until we find a treasure chest. I would like to find some new weapons, preferably. This looks like it might do the trick. Let's blow this thing up. And then use a key on the treasure chest to find half a heart and a single penny. Okay, probably not worth it, but that's okay. Is this the boss? I've made a huge mistake! I haven't been looking at the looking at the map screen in order to determine when it's good for me to fight or when the boss is around the corner so I'm oh Jesus I might be uh, shooting myself in the foot uh, really I should probably Dungeons of Dreadmore style clean out every floor in order so that I can find some items but oh well you know what I'm not gonna be a little baby about it let's just beat this guy and then move on so for what I hear it takes maybe about 15 to 20 minutes for you to get to mom and mom is actually pretty hard. Uh, from my understanding, it's not expected that you beat her every time. In fact, it might be more like, you know, one every ten times. Uh, I've heard that it's a very, very difficult game, and, you know, that would be pretty much what would to be expected considering how hard Super Meat Boy was. So, we'll just keep uh, shooting our spitballs at this monstro here. Not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, but there's a little bit of surreality in the game to be sure. Um, hopefully this did not come out of my mother's vagina. Either my mother's vagina in the game, or my mother's vagina in real life, if you know what I mean. Ah, oh, Jesus, I'm getting... I think I'm gonna be okay, but it could be close. I keep getting hit by these, uh, I don't even know, spit bombs that this kid is throwing out. Oh, shit, that was, that was bad for business. This reminds me of the, the second boss fight from Contra 3, The Alien Wars. So close to being dead, I can, the, the end is in sight. more yes excellent radioactive spider has appeared in the basement that's always a good thing I think uh, so I got some HP up and some health which is really useful because I was very nearly dead and let's go down to the next level I think this is probably ill-advised since I don't have any items yet but hey you know who dares wins as I always say so let's see what's going on here let's start by going up whoa okay so we've got some um, I don't even know, it looks like Chunk from the Goonies shooting flies at us. But I can't even get to them to attack them because there's so many flies around. This could be the end of my life. I'm having an awful hard time shooting them. Here we go, here we go, dead. Ah, just shoot the TNT in the center, of course! How could I be so stupid? Been playing video games for nearly 20 years. Couldn't figure out to just grab the TNT. Can I jump? Doesn't look like it, okay. Murder this Skull Kid here. Or get murdered by him. I'm wondering if, if these are, are bad pits or if this is like uh, a link to the past where I can jump in those and fall down to the next level. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. My guess is that they're not considering this that they've presented me with right here. Let's walk. Oh. Oh no, actually, you can bump into the walls. That's fine then. But I still like to be a little bit cautious. You never know. Edmund McMillan likes to throw some kind of dickish things at you sometimes. Wouldn't have it any other way. So is this the boss fight? It looks like I'm going into like a money room next. Fine by me. Ah, okay, so I can buy things here. What would I like to buy? I have nine cents. Nine cents. I can buy Wheel of Fortune. I guess I did buy Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's let's use that. With Q. Okay, and then we'll hit. Oh, I bought my own slot machine. Good. Let's use that a couple times, see what's going on there. Oh, two bombs, that was worth it. Half a heart, okay, that's fine. Boy, I do love me some gambling. An extra key? This Wheel of Fortune's paid for itself already. I could use some more money, though. Oh well, you know what? Overall, 
I would consider that fair trade. Can I pick it up again? Doesn't look like it. But still, it picked up some valuable resources. Would have liked to get some more money, gotten some more money, but uh, oh well, that's okay. I like that feature actually, I, I like gambling mixed in with my video games. Feels good, man. Alright, so now I'm fighting three of these Skull Kids at once, which should mean that my life will be over, because this is just almost fucking impossible to dodge, but I'm gonna do my best to stay alive for you, dear viewers. But look at this two who esque gauntlet of bullets I'm facing. Well, obviously I'm being a little bit, uh, I'm exaggerating a little bit there, but uh, still, suffice to say, I am getting my ass kicked right now. Would have been nice to maybe get some items at some point. That's, I think it's, it's Zelda style where I've got to actually get some items on every floor before I move on, or that would be for the best. Anyway, wake up! Alright, asshole. Tell me, what, what's wrong with you? I need to kill you before I can move on! Whatever, we'll just blow your ass up with a bomb. Or not. There we go! Fucking finally! Okay, we'll move to the right again. Alright, so we got some new enemies here. Oh man, okay, this does not bode well at all. Yes, that will be the end of my life. Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing. Burp. In some cave. I leave all that I own to my cat guppy. Goodbye, cruel world. Isaac. Well. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of The Binding of Isaac. I look forward to doing a more thorough run-through, in fact, several run-throughs, over the course of the next few weeks. Hope you guys enjoy the game. From what I've played so far, highly, highly recommended. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.